Hi right, folks, over here on Gunnersville Lake, and today I'm gonna try to catch a crappie. I mean, you know, I'm, I claim to be the worst crappie fisherman in Alabama, maybe the Southeast, maybe the United States, I don't know. If I catch one crappie, I done had a good day. Well, I caught a little bit of bait right here. Now, Chris right there, he crappie man. This first time in Chris has met, this is Chris right here. He felt sorry for me, so he tried to give me one, he caught, he said he caught one keeper crappie over here. I think I might know where some big crappie are, and Chris is gonna follow me in his boat. Ain't that right, Chris? That's right, we're gonna do it. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, folks. Let's get with it. Folks, I picked through this bait today. I ain't got nothing but mostly little bitty minnows in it. That's what I'm gonna try to catch in crap. You see right there, Lord, have mercy. What is it? 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 Oh, I thought it was a crap. It's a bass. Just a little spotted bass. I'm out here trying to catch a crappie. <laughs> There's my buddy Chris over there. We just met. He's out here trying to catch a crappie. Now he jig fishing. I'm live bait fishing. Look at a little hook right there. Right there in his snoop. That's a nice little spot. That ain't what I'm after, y'all. I ain't leaving here till I get me a crappie video. There's one. Is that one? Hey, I got one. I got one. I ain't joking with you. I got one. I got some. <laughs> Hey, that feels like a crop. <laughs> what is it? Oh, what is it? That's a crop. Oh, Lord in mercy. I got me a crop. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about right there. Oh, my goodness. Big old. Oh, yeah. Look at that. What a crop. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. That's a slab right there, boy. Lord, that's what I'm after right there. Dinner right here, boy. Lord. Put this crop in here. Get my thump net. Right here, I got me a thump net. So I have to put it right outside the boat. Right there. I ain't, my live well ain't working real good. So I'm just gonna put him right there in the thump net. Maybe I'll catch a nut. Look at that, crappie. These here are yellow tail, thread pin shad, and they're about three inches long. And I'm just hooking them right up through there. We got a lot of eelgrass floating down. It makes it kind of tough to fish, but over here in Guns, that's just you just gotta deal with it. So. I'm kind of limited where I can throw it because if I throw it over that eelgrass right there, that, that eelgrass won't let that minnow go down. This eelgrass is something else. Now, I just caught that crop. All of a sudden, a whole pasture of eelgrass. I'm talking about, look, look at all this eelgrass. You can't fish around it. You got to just pick your little old bitty hole and drop it right down between it. Because if any of that grass right there gets on that minnow, they won't bite it. These fish, they don't like no salad on their hook. Around these bridges. Yeah. Y'all need some? Uh, we don't have our tank today. I'm gonna get me one of these little bitty. Yeah, it's real important now. Keep this bait live. That's why I got in this string bait tank right here. This bait tank right here keeps that man alive. Yeah, sure does. You where he is. Oh, I hope this is a crappie. I hope it's a crappie. What is it? Oh, what is it? Oh, it's a. What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? Is it a crappie? I think it is. I think it is. It is a crappie. Another one. Oh, Lord in mercy. And I think he's big enough to eat. I got to get the dip net on this. <laughs> I ain't joking. Look here, y'all. Oh, Lordy. I have been here, y'all. I'm telling you right now. I've been working it. I've been working it. Yeah, got me another one here. See right here. Look at there. That ain't a real big one, but it's good eating size. That's for sure. Look at there. Try to measure this. It'll be nine inches. That right there, look at that boy, it's good eating size. Oh Lord, that there 11 inches long. See right there. I could fish a lot better if it wasn't for this eel. This eel grass make me eat. I get ill when I gotta fish around this eel. When I pull up under a bridge like this right here, the first thing I go to is the shade of the bridge. I just hope that eel grass don't come back through here because i mean it's just almost impossible to fish that's why i came back this morning i want to get y'all a good crappie fishing video i picked through my bait this morning these right here is the size i'm using see them little old bitty thread fin shad right there and i'm just hooking them just right up through the bottom lip up through the nose hole i didn't get down here real early this morning uh probably like i should have I think right now it's about 10 o'clock and I just pulled up under here. We're going into early spring right here. But the crappie are in the process 
of moving up shallow. Some of them are to spawn. But some of them are still out here on the edge of this river channel, like where I'm fishing right here. They don't all just move up at one time. I'm just gonna fish my way right down through here. This is like a little eddy right here. Current's going like that. River channel's right here. Current's coming like this. So I'm just gonna bounce it right down through here and I'm in the shade of this bridge right here. <gasps> I got one. I believe it's a crappie. I ain't joking with you. I thought I almost pulled off it right here. Sure feels like a big slab crappie. I ain't joking. What is it? What is it? What is it? Oh, giant crappie. Giant. Big one. Big and big and big. Good Lord in mercy. Oh, he's a god. I'm going to get him up a little bit more. But this in here is a horse of a big crappie. Look at here, y'all. Golly. Yes, sir, buddy. God, I never felt that fish bite it. I didn't. 14 and a half, 15 inches, something like that. Let's weigh it. Let's weigh them on these old bubble scales. Just see what a crappie that size right there away. Let's see. Let's cut these bubbles on. And uh, let's hook him up here and see. This crappie right here was almost 15 inches long. See, so we're one pound, 11 ounces. Y'all can see right there. Yep. So that's a nice crappie. I'm excited. I'm gonna put him in his bait tank right here with his mouth. Oh Lord have mercy. I'm gonna try to be patient. See, that's my problem with crappie fish. That's why I ain't no good crappie fish, man. I ain't got no whole lot of patience. I mean, I'm wanting to fish and move and fish. I mean, you can't do that crappie fish. Because these fish, what they'll do that, I guess. Now I'm just guessing though. I don't want to sound like I'm no professional crappie man, because I sure ain't. I mean, I'm just I'm the worst crappie fisherman. And and I ain't joking with y'all. I ain't making it up in Alabama. So what I'm guessing is that these crappie move up out of that river channel at different times of the day to feed. And you just got to be here when they move up in here. I mean, I mean, you just can't pull up here like I did just then, catch one. And fish for five minutes, not catch nothing and leave. You got to give it some, you know, you got to give it a little time. Now, folks, today... I'm using my what I would call ultralight stuff. It's a it's a Johnny Morris uh, Carbon Light 2.0, and it says Carbon Coil Technology. And this is a six foot long pole, and it's a uh, light action fast. And it's real I'm using. It's an Abba Garcia Revo, and I think it's a thousand size, one thousand size. And boy, I tell you what, it's a smooth, smooth reel right there. Got a good drag system. See, look at it. You want any more big crappie on? Oh Lord, you got it. This braid I'm using right here, this is 10 pound test. Leader line right here, six pound test. It's got this one little split shot up above this hook, about 20 inches. A little number two hook right there, red hook, owner hook. Sinker right there will bounce the bottom, and that little minnow right there will swim up above that sinker. So he'll be up above, up in the water column where these where the crappie can see him. Let's throw it out there and see what happens. Or, ooh, that was him. That was him. So he got, oh Lord, mercy. Look here, y'all, he plucked that. He plucked it off that hook. My goodness. I just let a crappie get off. And I don't like it. Sure don't. See them crappie, they're going to lay with their nose into this current, just like you see. Right here's a mouth, right here. See that right there? Well, when you throw it up here and you let it bounce, when old crappie land down there like that, it bounces right up in front of it. All he's got to do is do this. Or, well, crappie can feed up, so he'll just oop like that. Yeah. And there he is. There's another. Oh, it's another one. I ain't joking with you. It's going to be a big slab. Oh, my goodness. Is it? Is it? Oh, it was a big black crappie. That thing was bigger than that first one I caught. Oh, my goodness. I hope he'll bite again. If I let many crappie get off, well, I never would, I never would uh, catch one. So it's important for me to catch every crappie that I get a bite on. It is. I mean, if I had to rely on cr catching crappie to survive, I'd be a goner. Let's throw it right up there. See, I'm just throwing up. That bank's real steep drop off right there. Where I threw that that many right there is probably about 12 foot deep, and we're sitting in about 30 right here. I'm gonna most spit over down and hit the bank, so it's a big steep drop off, and they're laying right on that steep side of that drop off right there. I'm gonna fish a little bit deeper, so I'm gonna throw it closer to the boat. 
that way when it goes straight down it'll be out here in maybe uh, probably about 20 foot of water and it's gonna drift right by the boat so I'm gonna see if there's anything out here a little bigger this might be another one I ain't joking to y'all it is it's another big one and I think I got this one I ain't playing around with this one here this I guarantee you oh my gosh what a big crappie this looks like it big and I let it get off while I go mm, almost oh yeah <laughs> that was right up under the boat yep come here crappie oh lord I love it right there that's what I caught him on right there put that little red hook right there in the mind that's a good one what I'm doing here is I'm fishing different depths this hill going down see it's going under the water it goes all the way down well it hits about right here at 30 foot there so you got a big steep drop off right here when i throw it up there close to the bank like i did just then that current just swings it around and bounces it and as it swings around it goes down different depths 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 but depths. Well, when it gets right here behind the boat here you know i'm sitting in 30 foot of water it's 30 foot deep so you you, you, you fish in different depths as it, as it goes down through here. Now, if I'm drifting, which I'm gonna do that in a minute, it's different. You just, you fish in the same depth because your bait is just traveling along with your boat as it drifts. What we got here? I mean, this is the way I bass fish, really. I mean, the way I'm doing now. With my finger on the line, bell open. That way I can let line out. If you keep letting line out, it'll stay down there close to the bottom. If you don't, if you put tension on it, that current will rise it up in the column back there and you'll be up there. Which, you know, for crappie, maybe they up a little higher. I don't know. If them crappie ain't down there on the bottom, more than likely I ain't gonna catch them. If they up in the water column, that minnow's gonna go right under them and you ain't gonna catch them. So the ones I'm after is the ones down there on the bottom. <laughs> and a lot of times that's, they'll get they'll get down there when there's when it, when you got a lot of current like we got. And bar's getting it over, I look at bars come through here and I just broke my leader off everything broke everything up Oop. short it so I got to get me some more line out here let's see here six pound test right there it is okay trilene mono that's me right there trilene mono ain't real expensive and it works real good I ain't much on that fluorocarbon mess not the way I fish get broke off too much okay I'm gonna tie this uh, Alberto knot this leader to this braid right here. I'm gonna show you how to do it quick as I can. So I'm ready to get back fishing. Okay. Always for me, I always like to put my leader line in my left hand right there. And my braid in my right hand. I'll run it up through there just like that right there. See right there? Then what I'll do is I'll I'll, I'll pinch it, pinch it down like that. And you take your your braid and roll it down that line. Where you're using your fingers. See right there, I go down four times. See, that's four times. As I go back up four times, in between them little loops that go down through there. See, so one, two, three, four. Then what you do is you take your braid and just run it back through that loop right there. Then you pull her tight. You do that. You got you an Alberto knot. That's a good knot right there to tie your litter to your braid. So I'm gonna trim this off right here, right close to the knot. Make sure you don't get too close. You'll you'll undo your knot. Uh, that bars just come through, and there's a lot of rocking and a rolling going on right here. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reel this up, and I'm gonna reel my leader line up to right below the last eye. On my, on my rod here. You don't want that right there to get in there. It's gonna cause you problems when you go to cast. Let's just go ahead, tie his hook on there. I'm gonna do it with a polymer knot. It's real simple, just like that, like that. Just like that, see right there? Got it. Loop her around like that. Around like it. Do it like that right to polymer knot. 
pull her tight. See right there. Now here's my tackle box right here. See, I got it bolted down to the front. And I want something, I just reach in here and get it just like that. I'm gonna put one little split shot on it. On this little light line like I'm using right here, you don't want to mash that on there real, real tight. It might get in your line. I just snug her on there like that right there. Matter of fact, I like to be able to slide mine up and down. And I like these little split shots got them ears on it. That way you can take it off whenever you want to or you can add to it. Oh yeah, and I don't lord, I done got messed up. Okay, let's go back here and get it. Oh man, that eel grass starting to roll in here again. There he is, there's another big crappie. Golly, oh it, it does, it feels, oh, is it? Oh my God. Are you serious? I'm talking about a big. Oh my gosh, oh golly, oh, don't get off, crummy, please don't get off. Look right here. Oh yes, look at that one. It even feels heavy in the net. Golly, what a big one. Son, I'm talking about a one. Yeah, see right there, what do you want? Yeah, that little old hook just got him right there. Right there in the roof of my table. So I said, look, that's how easy. They can get off. Hey, that's number three in the, in the bucket over here. I'm too lordy, have mercy. Yeah. Oh, that old grass is starting to roll in here. Hmm. What we got? Oh, this is one, y'all. I'm telling you, this is one. There he is, too. And that's a crappie. I'm telling you, it is. Well, I don't know. Maybe. It don't make no difference. He's pulling good. No. No, I don't. Oh, what is it? It is a crappie. Another one, another big one. Oh my gosh, another big one. Oh yes, look at her. Oh Lord, that's number four. Big one, too, son. Good miss. Look at that. Oh yeah. <laughs> See, look at that boy, got that nose right in the snoot. See right, Johnny? That's another 14 all day long. 14 inch crappie. Folks, I'm telling you right now, look at it. Oh, man. Like I say, it's a big deal for me to catch a crop. It sure is. And I'm glad y'all here to experience this with me. Y'all sure am. Sure does take a lot of concentration to catch a crop. I'm going to have to take a, a leave or something. Oh, Lord. And give me a head. I got another place too I might try today. Let's see what happens right here. Right here, there's no telling what we catch when we're trying to catch a crappie. There he is, y'all. What is it? Is that a crappie? No, it's a little bass. It's a bony little bass. He needs, he needs to eat. Goodness, what a skinny fish. Don't y'all look here, what a bony little fish. Look at that. He's thin the piece of paper. Oh, that's a big one. Hold on, hold on. Let me get him, let me get him. Let, hold on, hold on. That's a good one there, son. I'll get him with my net. That's a picture taker. <laughs> You having fun yet? Yes, sir. There you go, brother. I tell you what, folks, you make a lot of good friends out here fishing. Uh, like Tim right here. I came I came through that little gap up there and I seen Tim over there fishing and he he's all the way down here from Illinois. And uh, I asked him if he catching anything and he said nope. So I gave him some minutes and tell folks a little bit about your experience uh, live bait fishing. Oh my god, it was amazing. Within <laughs> 10 minutes I had a five pounder on the line. <laughs> Thanks to Mr. Drake. <laughs> and we've never met till today and uh so anyway that's what it's all about don't you think so tim yes sir sharing the experience out here on the river folks appreciate y'all tuning in we'll catch you next time say hello to everybody hello folks <laughs>